on everybody and thank you for joining me on another one of my PGA DFS top five videos. We got the sleepers version here for the Honda Classic at PGA National and while this field may be getting weaker and weaker by the minute with a couple of COVID withdrawals, there's still going to be some people that are highly owned and of course then on the other side plenty of people that are going to be lower owned so I try and sift through a couple of them here uh, but of course before we do let's Give a quick check-in on how I did last week. I would say I went two for five, and the two I did get were good, both in the top ten, but missing the cut was Scotty Scheffler, Robert McIntyre, and Ian Poulter. Just believing in Bobby Mack's uh, ability maybe a little bit too much there as he struggled his first time around TPC Sawgrass. Overall, though, had Coke Rack and John Rahm get in the top ten. So let's go ahead and move on to this week, and the number one sleeper I'm going to talk about is... Michael Thompson, who just continues to kind of roll along in his season, projected 6% owned. He's kind of around some higher owned guys like Luke List, who I do in fact like this week. But I think in tournament play, this is a good pivot here. Course history, he's done pretty good in the last two years, 57 and 16th. Reason for him, 48th last week at Sawgrass, so made the cut. Strokes gained power ranks, 184 off the tee, maybe his biggest struggle, 104 on the approach, 113 around the green, and 125 putting, so maybe not so great at everything this year, maybe kind of trying to find his form, but still making cuts, and maybe the conditions will yield the best start of his season. All right, the next guy certainly is not a sleeper by name in the most recent weeks, but he is by ownership projection. And that's probably because of his price. And it's Doug Im, Doug Gim, excuse me, coming in at 8,800, 5% owned this week. And I know he's had two blunders the last two weeks, coming in 29th and 36th. But he was in one of the final groups on each of them on Sunday. So I think the form is a little bit closer. Doesn't have much success here, just a miscut last year. But again, 5% owned for a guy that's 106th off the tee, 32nd on the approach, 85th around the green, and 71st on the putting. Seems like pretty good stats for a guy that's going to be 5% owned this week. All right, the proverbial GPP play, Eric Van Royen. He's coming in at $7,600 this week, but 4% owned. That's why I like him. Again, kind of sandwiched in between a bunch of higher owned guys like JT Poston, Luke List, who I mentioned before. So Eric Van Royen, another guy. If you don't like the Michael Thompson play, you can go to Van Royen here in your GPP formats for a PGA DFS sleeper. Uh, missed the cut here last year, but again, we like a guy that at least has been around this course once. Recent form did not get into Sawgrass last week, 57th at the Arnold Palmer. Uh, that was uh, played a lot better and had to struggle to make the cut and uh, just couldn't get it going over the weekend, but still scored a lot of points. That's what he does when he makes the weekend. 103rd off the tee, 84 on the approach, 118 and 115 around the green and putting. So pretty mildly good at everything, maybe under the average on uh, his short game. So Okay, the fourth sleeper I want to talk about, also a golfer that is typically on the European Tour, is Martin Keimer. He's coming in at $8,300. We've only seen him a couple of times this year, three to be uh, uh, actually perfectly honest. It is three. He had a miscut in his first one, but 44 and 18 in his last two. So Martin Keimer certainly trending in the right direction. Played here a couple of years ago, also played here a couple of times. But 67 uh, in that start. Still nothing uh, that we can get excited about, but has some good finishes before that. We don't have much information on him because he doesn't play a lot of golf over here. Probably why he's going to get that 5% mark. However, certainly if conditions get difficult, you would expect somebody like Keimer and his ball striking prowess uh, to be pretty good and have good standing. Again, he's a guy that's been a little bit more accomplished than Lee Westwood in their career, obviously winning a major. So Martin Keimer little bit, uh, of course, $2,000 cheaper than Lee Westwood this week. I think it's a good buy. All right, my fifth and final sleeper of the week. We are heading to Dylan Fratelli. $8,200 this week, only 5% owned, coming off a fantastic Sunday. Played with Sun JM, and I watched him, and I'll be honest, his game looked to be coming around. He's only going to be 5% owned. I love him in single entry formats in GPP. 22nd last week, as I mentioned. 58 last year and a miscut before that in his most uh, two recent starts here at PGA National. But again, 58th last year. We're improving at least, and the form seems to be coming around. As you can see, 81st off the tee, so that mark is certainly pretty good. 194 on the approach. That's what we need to pick up. That did look like it picked up last week. 26 around the green and 196 putting. Kind of goes with some of these better ball strikers. They go with their putting. Their good finishes come when they match the field in putting, and their wins come when they beat the field in putting. So 
for Fertelli this week at 8,200. We're just looking for him to match the field in the first couple of days and get to the weekend. So, okay, let's go from five to one. Sum it up real quick. Michael Thompson, Doug Gim, Eric Van Royen, Martin Keimer, and Dylan Fertelli are your top five sleepers for the Honda Classic. Good luck, everybody. Of course, like and subscribe to our channel here to make sure you get notified when these videos come live. If you're watching this one, this is the sleepers fades. I'm going to be doing right after, so likely you're going to see them at the same time. So stay tuned for that. I'll give you a hint. Daniel Berger is number one on that list. So good luck, everybody, this week at the Honda Classic, and we'll see you on the other side. Cheers.